Talk by Father Jeremy Haberimina. Jesus Christ frees us from thoughts wicked. Wednesday of fifth week in ordinary time. Readings. The Queen of Sheba saw the wisdom of Solomon. Reading of the first book of Kings 10, 1 to 10. The Queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue, and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold, and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the seating of his ministers, the attendance and garb of his waiters, his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report until I came and saw with my own eyes, I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpassed the report I heard. Blessed are your men, blessed these servants of yours, who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord, your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices, and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 36 Response, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord, he is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia John 17 colon 17 b 1 Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Gospel the things that come out from within are what defile. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark 7 verses 14 to 23. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person but the things that come out from within are what defile. 
When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defile him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. Talk Dear brothers, today our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us the true religion, which is the purification of the heart, of bad thoughts and projects wicked, to fill us intimately with the pure spirit, sanctifying, saving, pure, beautiful, intelligent, powerful, and be led by him in the will of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That spirit filled Solomon, and his fame spread he extended, because he allowed himself to be guided by the Spirit of the Lord. The Queen of Sheba came from far away to admire the work of the Holy Spirit in Solomon's life. The sanctifying work does not begin from the outside, but from the inside. That's why he word became flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary. We cannot sanctify ourselves cleaning only the outside, as the Pharisees and scribes did, as the law of Moses that was written outside, on the stones, we have to enter the New Testament that is intimate, in the law of the Holy Spirit that is intimate, that is written in the hearts and transforms from within, fills us with good thoughts, ideas, projects, intimately inspired by the power of the Spirit Holy. Jesus wants to end hypocrisy with games of mercy in our lives, to sow the seeds of true godliness that the Spirit Holy puts in our hearts from within. Because sometimes we are Christians on the outside, but intimately we are not. That doesn't please Jesus. Jesus wants to start with our hearts and fill us with that spirit that he is transforming everything from within and vaccinates us from the Pharisee and hypocritical life that only insists on our external ways, without speaking of the intimate, such as Adventists, who think that observing the Sabbath, without commenting on anything what they carry in their hearts is to purify and save their life. That's a deceptive way to understand what religion is, and it can also happen to us in our Christian life. For example, to think that by praying on a special day commemorating an apparition of the Virgin Mary to be saved. We can limit yourself to observing exterior customs, such as always taking communion on his knees and in his mouth but living in lust, with an impure heart. First you have to purify the heart, convert to Jesus, to blissful pure love, joyful, powerful. Let us live in a state of grace to be able to unite ourselves with Jesus, who he is three times holy, accepting that his heart fills us, and his blood purifies us. Because from within, from the heart of man, evil intentions come out, fornications, robberies, homicides, 
adulteries, greed, injustice, fraud, debauchery, envy, defamation, pride, frivolity. All those evils come out of inside and make man impure. May Jesus purify us, transform us, and convert us by the power of his Spirit Saint and the Virgin Mary prayer. Come Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Our Lady of Carmen, pray for us. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus, I trust I in you.